A certain bacteria will double every 15 minutes. If a sample starts with three bacteria, find the following. Find an equation for a model for the number of bacteria after h hours. So we have h is the number of hours. And let's call b of h the number of bacteria. So if we set up a table of values. At zero hours, the sample starts with three bacteria. Now after one hour, what happens? Well, the bacteria will double every 15 minutes. So in one hour, there are four doubling times. So then the number of bacteria would be 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or 3 times 2 to the fourth. After 2 hours, there would be a total of 8 doubling times. So we'd have 3 times 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 there would be 3 times 2 to the 8th. And after 3 hours, I hope you can follow the pattern and see that there would be 3 times 2 to the 12th. Since there were in 3 hours, there would be 12 doubling times. Now notice that th this does follow 3 times 2 to the 0. So now let's look at the input and the exponent on the 2. So we need 0 to go to 0, we need 1 to go to 4, 2 to go to 8, and 3 to go to 12. And what I notice is if I take any of those initial values, those inputs h, and I multiply them by 4, I get the exponent on 2. And so what that tells me is I can write the model b of h is equal to 3 times 2 to the 4h. Now check your work. If we let h equal 3, then I would have b of 3 would be 3 times 2 to the 4 times 3. And so that would be 3 times 2 to the 12th, and then we would evaluate the 2 to the 12th and multiply it by 3. So I'm pretty confident that b of h would be 3 times 2 to the 4h. Here in the second part, we have the same setup, except now we're told to let n represent the number of 15 minute intervals. So if we say, okay, well n is the number of 15 minute intervals, and let's let b of n represent the number of bacteria, So then we have n versus b of n. It, when n is 0, if there is 0 15 minute intervals, we have the initial 3 bacteria. But if n is 1, well that's 1 15 minute interval. And so we'd have 3 times 2, which is 6. 2 intervals, we'd have 3 times 2 times 2, or 3 times 2 to the second. After three intervals, we would have three times two to the third. After four intervals, we'd have three times two to the fourth. And so we have a pattern here again, similar to the previous exercise. We have three to the zero. I'm sorry, I should write that as three times two to the zero. And so we certainly have a pattern here. And we would have b of n is equal to three times two to the n.
Part C asks us to use your models to estimate the number of bacteria present after five hours. Right, so working with B of H is equal to three to the two times two to the four H. I usually write it a little differently. Then five hours, remember H was the number of hours. And so then H, in this case, would be 5. So then we'd have B of 5 would equal 3 times 2 to the 4 times 5. So following the order of operations, we would have 3 times 2 to the 20th power, evaluating 2 to the 20th. That's 1,048,576. Oops, three times that. All right, and so then multiplying by three, three million one hundred forty-five thousand seven hundred twenty-eight. Now, what if we instead used the second model, B of n? is equal to 3 times 2 to the n. Well, recall for this model, n is the number of 15-minute intervals. So then we would have to calculate that number of intervals. Well, 5 hours is equal to 300 minutes and dividing that by 15, that's 20 15 minute intervals. So then we would have B of 20 would be 3 times 2 to the 20th power which is exactly the same as we had in the pre in on the other side and so that would be 3,145,728 all right using either model we find that after 5 hours there is 3,145,728 bacteria present.